Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 57 Crossword Puzzle Part 2. It's a follow up to Tutorial 56, which was Crossword Puzzle Part 1, and that's what I have opened on the computer now. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select the top layer, insert a layer, call it Action Script AS. Now we want to write the code that recognizes our inputs. Select that frame one, open the actions panel, and type, 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 type. All that typing. We're starting off with a event listener, stage, S-T-A-G-E, small s, period, turns blue, add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that turns blue, open bracket, Event, capital E, V, E, N, T, period. And this is all capital letters, E, N, T, E, R, underscore, F, R, A, M, E. That's all capitals. That's blue. Comma. That comma turns black. And I'm calling this function ent frame. Small E, N, T, capital F, R, A, M, E. Close bracket semicolon. Function turns purple. I copied the ent frame paste it in here open bracket e colon event capital e v e n t turns blue close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function and there's the open curly bracket for the function and down here eventually is the close curly bracket for my function and at this time I'm going to test the M key in the word M so if if turns purple open bracket Men M underscore text, capital M E N capital M underscore T X T, period T E X T. This part turns blue. Equals equals, we're comparing it to open bracket, quotation mark, capital M, close quotation, close bracket, period, two string, small t, capital S, that turns blue. Open bracket, close bracket, close bracket. There's the open bracket for this if statement. Here's the closed curly bracket for the if statement. This is also an open curly bracket. And in between these two, I have a trace. This is just something to see that this button works. When you're doing a lot of things over and over and over, or you're going to, you want to make sure the format works before you, before you do that. So trace, T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, quotation, M, men, capital M-E-N-M, quotation, close bracket, semicolon, and this has two curly brackets when it's finished. Now, if this works, we're talking about this M right here in this word men. So let's do a test to see if it works. This one here, I select it. I can see my red, and I shift M, and nothing happens. And I want to show you why. So if I go back to the main timeline, unlock the vertical words layer, select frame one, click off to the side and highlight or just select the M. See that blue box we have? And open the properties panel for that. And this is the text, the men, men M text. Way down here, this behavior, if you don't have it, scroll down and find it. It's under Paragraph, see that? Open paragraph up. In this multi line, click on this pop down menu. You want single line. Now let's test it again. Test, test. And if I put my M in here, Shift M, it says there's the trace we we're looking for. Now, it's most likely if one's wrong, they're all wrong. So lock all the layers, unlock the word vertical layer. Unlock the word horizontal layer. Come down here, right click, select all, and they'll all highlight. Open the properties panel and come down here under behaviors and select single, single line. And now all of them are ready to be coded. Let's lock all these layers again. Select the frame one of the actions panel. Open it up. And now I want to use it so I can test the whole word. 
in this case the word is men m-e-n i want to be able to test that actually i want to just test the m and the e together so the first thing i want to do is right here put a open bracket and click right here at the end of this string enter and add this type 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 so we're going to have an an that's two and signs it's the uppercase of the number seven open bracket and this you could cop actually copy this right to there copy that and then paste it in and where you have men M change it to an E capital E right here and make this a capital E I forgot to say right here after this second string we added right here is a closed bracket before this open curly bracket and the trace which would be here so this and and is the and function now in order for me to trace this men M I have to have the M right and the E right so let's test that out test movie test no errors that's nice I'm holding my shift down or the cap locks mem is good and now if I got them both right I get my trace so that works I'm just going to click on this thing here that auto formats for a minute and I want this to be I'm using, just using my backspace here there clean that up a little bit and I want to put right in here two forward slashes and write M E N capital M and a couple of enters just to get that over there this is this forward slash tells this not to be part of the program from here up to there I want to click and copy that not this last curly bracket that belongs to the event listener up here click at the end of that curly bracket a couple of enters paste it in now we're going to do the game the other one that's the game so change this M N to game G A M E this go back here is actually supposed to be just men not M there we go so now I gotta do if I look at the game I don't do the G because that's part of the rings because I'm doing them part of the rings I don't do the E, so I need an A, a M, and an S. So let's first of all make this game. G A M E S. It's games, actually. Put that in S. The first letter we need to do is this A, so it's actually going to be games A. Make this M a A. Come down here. Copy this. Games A. Copy paste it in this is going to be the M so instead of a capital A make it a capital M make this an M come from here go right and include those two and signs right click copy get on the end put an enter paste it in and this is going to be the S the G for games and the E for games are on the vertical words so this is going to be games S. This is going to be a capital S. And this is going to be games. Now, up here, this could actually just be men. They're just traces at this point in time. So now let's see if this games works. Test movie test. No errors. Is this A? this M and this S that's great now we do the verticals so let's take and copy from there's a my last curly bracket I don't want that copy all this right click copy get at the end of that curly bracket a couple enters paste and this is going to be rings R I N G S this is going to be rings R 
R I N G S capital R and this is going to be an R copy it rings R copy paste it I'm going to paste it again and this is going to be the I of rings capital I here make a capital I in here and if you got this you can just scoot a hit in the video this is going to be the N this is going to be the N now I got the R I N I need two more the G and the S so I'm going to copy these two lines here right click copy enter and paste these two lines in here this is going to be the G G S S and this is going to be rings again I'm doing this for beginners if you can understand it just jump ahead so let's just test that and test if rings works there's the R I N G S and I get a trace that's really good and I have one more word to do theory so I'm going to copy all this from here not the very last curly bracket but the second last copy get on the end there that second last one couple enters paste this is going to be theory t-h-e-o-r-y right here t-h-e-o-r-y theory t and this we'll do these first copy that theory t paste it here paste it here here and here theory T is the first one and this has to be a T now we go to H just change these to an H then to an E O these are case sensitive O R R copy this last line right here put in one enter paste it in and this becomes Y Y copy the word theory and paste it in here let's try this so far so good with the errors okay T H E O R it came on without the Y why did it do that So I didn't put anything in here. See this? Why? Let's do that again. Control test movie test. T H E O R. That's better. Why? You probably picked that up on your own. Now we want to do more than just trace these these words we want to uh, be able to say the game is over or something when you when you get them all right so come up to the very top put an enter in up with my arrow and type 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 we're going to make four variables VAR turns purple MEN that's the men word capital M colon N U M and as you start to write this you'll get a drop-down menu and when you see the word number you can just press enter 
that'll turn blue equals zero semicolon copy it paste it three times change the men to games then change it to rings then change it to theory so we have four variables okay so now come down here click after that curly bracket put an enter and men equals one semicolon or semicolon I'm just going to do a format here for a minute come down to games in here write games G A M E S equals one semicolon I think that's what we call it games yeah come down here and right here rings R I N G S equals one semicolon and down the bottom here this is theory T H E O R Y one theory equals one semicolon and do an auto format come down to the very end of the action script get there at that second last one put a couple enters and type type make sure there's one down here type 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 this code there's two forward slashes I'm calling it all words and what it's doing is making sure that all these variables have been equal to one so I'm saying if turns purple open bracket men plus games plus rings plus theories equals equals four close bracket so if all of these tests of all these games return to one and rings is one and theories one and men's one they would equal four there's the open curly bracket for this if there's the close curly bracket for this if and it says trace open bracket quotation game over close quotation close bracket semicolon and I believe I have one too many curly brackets here I just want to test it for a minute yes I do you should only have these two curly brackets at the end and I just just did this to test it it's all right now and this time we're going to trace game over I'm going to go up to here on each of these where I have my trace put two forward slashes so I don't need to see them I know that works two forward slashes there two forward slashes here and two here Draw it and drag it back down to the bottom and let's test it I'm putting the cap locks on there's an M E R I N G S A M E O R Y S H and I'm going to make this one wrong on purpose K no good go back T and it says game over so now we want to have something else take place other than just saying game over so we know that this logic works and if we just take that and delete it and type 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 and it's place for putting this something called all words and something called total so let's go up to our variables make a variable VAR a L L capital W O R D S colon and as I write number and you it comes here and I click on it or enter equals zero and I'm just gonna copy that paste it and change this to total T O T A L so now I have two variables declared and down here under all words 
I say all words equals men plus games plus rings plus theory semicolon. That's a statement. Then I'm saying total is equal to four, which is what I would get if they were all the words were correct. Total is equal to four minus all words. So the only time that this results in a zero is if it's correct. If I only have two right, then this total would result in four minus two equals two. So now first test is if open bracket total equals equals zero, close bracket, open bracket curly bracket for my if, close curly bracket for my if, I'm going to trace the game is over. So let's leave that for a minute. Instead of testing that, make sure you have two closed curly brackets at the end of your statement. So now that's what would take place if we had all four right. We would trace games over. So let's go here at the end of this. Again, now we're between, between these two last curly brackets. And type in this type, 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 type. It's a long string. Incorrect text. We have to make this box. Capital I, incorrect, underscore, text, period. T-E-X-T, -E that T-E-X-T -E turns blue equals and this is what's called a string this is what's going to be on the screen open bracket quotation you have you space have space quotation mark plus total t-o-t-a-l totals this value here there is a plus sign after the word total before the next quotation mark quotation space Incorrect space words, incorrect space words, period, quotation, close bracket, period, two strings, small t, capital S, that turns blue, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. So at any given time, this statement is going to say how many we have wrong. Okay, so let's just look at this for a minute, and if I test it, First of all, I want to make sure I got no errors, and I have an error. Oh, I never made that text box yet, of course. We'll lock all the layers, select the words V layer, insert layer, call it DYTXT, as in dynamic text, and I'm going to just click on my selection tool, click on my stage going to open my properties panel it should say document I want the stage size and I'm going to make it 650 so it's going to be a little bit wider than what it was and frame one of this dynamic text I'm going to pick up my text tool just draw a line here with the top open my properties panel dropping this down to about 15 points make sure dynamic text is selected and up here give it that text name i n c o r r e c t underscore t x t now let's try that out and it should say right off the bat that we have four incorrect words okay i should have that a lot higher just get my those crosshairs and drag it up there. Let's test that. And it says for incorrect text, let's just do min. M E that has three because it doesn't use the N. Let's do rings. R I N G S, now we're down to two, G, A, M, E, S, down to one, T, H, E, O, R, Y. And that should have said zero, T, H, E, O, R, Y. I actually hit the zero instead of an O. So zero. You have zero and correct. And because I got them all right, it traced game over.
this video is getting pretty long. There will be a follow-up, the last one. It will be Flash Tutorial Request 58 cro Crossword Puzzle Part 3. If you plan on doing that follow-up video, save this FLA. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.